The award is named after Dr. John R. Hubbard, the eighth president of the University of Southern California, and the person who was instrumental in the organization getting the two to one matching for our scholarship funds. We look for students, Latino students, that have demonstrated academic excellence, community involvement, extracurricular activities, and demonstrated leadership. Well, my mom was born in Mexico. My dad's family is from Italy. And we moved to Lake Arrowhead when I was five. Uh, my dad was a Los Angeles City firefighter and he commuted, so that's where we grew up. Because she didn't enter into her undergraduate education directly after high school, she actually pursued a professional career as a Pilates instructor. I love movement and exercise, and I had had some back issues myself, and I started going to Pilates, and it really helped me feel better, and so that made me decide to want to help others to feel better. And so she was very interested in the benefits of movement, and she came here as a kinesiology major, but took a couple of gerontology courses, and it really resonated with her own personal practice. She um, has a lot of older adult clients, and so she just fell in love with gerontology and what she might do to try to improve the health and well-being of our growing, aging population. So the research that she worked on for the McNair Scholars Program and throughout the summer was a scoping review of sleep disorders and their treatments, particularly for minority patients. One of the other things that she was able to establish was that these minority populations are generally absent from research that occurs on these sorts of sleep interventions, but also that they're the ones that are disproportionately affected by these particular sleep disorders in the first place. The intellectual curiosity that she has is really a vehicle for her to be able to do good things in the world for people that may or may not be able to do it for themselves. So I hope to get my PhD and go on to do research that can help older adults, especially older adults in underserved communities. I hope that my research will be able to not only just help, but really make a difference in older adults' lives. I've always looked up to doctors. I initially started going to the doctor um, very frequently with my father, who became really ill um, around the time of middle school. So from a very young age, I was exposed to that field, and I acted as a translator for him. Adela and I first met when she was a sophomore uh, and attending an alternative spring break trip to Salinas, California. So we were working at a homeless shelter and almost immediately Adela was out and sitting with the guests using her language skills in particular, which was really beneficial for the whole group, to be a resource and an advocate for the guests that were there. And I anticipate she'll be using that as she becomes a doctor someday as well. Giving the voice to someone who doesn't have that access or that voice has always been a prominent theme for her. I believe that's why she went to Botswana as well. It was at the University of Botswana, it was a joint program where she went and studied uh, communal health care in basically local villages and local pharmacies. And to go and jump to a part of Africa where most people don't ever get a chance to go is pretty impressive. She really put herself into this very unique and different geographic environment because she wanted to develop the skills for serving that kind of population back here in the future. Seeing how my father struggled to speak to the doctors or like even get his symptoms across. I want to go back and be that doctor that Hispanic patients can speak to freely and comfortably in their language if need be and I kind of just want to break down that barrier. My mother, hardworking lady, single mother, raised us. She had an eighth grade education, but she instilled the value of, of an education in us. She didn't want us to work as she did. Her last job was working um, as a housekeeper at a casino, come back home tired each and every day, and we promised that we would retire her. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but she did leave us with these values of just giving back and working hard and being selfless. He wants to develop affordable housing for local communities. And then he, as part of a class, they went to the favelas in Brazil and examining how Brazil is in preparation to the World Cup. They're addressing this issue of the favelas and creating affordable housing for the communities there. So what they want to do, they want to create more or less learn from that model and hopefully create something similar here in LA. Through the urban planning degree in development, I want to go back and empower people in communities that I grew up with or similar to my community. And so I want to create spaces and give them a sense of empowerment through allowing them to be involved in the process. I feel that 
Certain communities are neglected, especially after the 91 civil unrest. I feel that some developers are afraid to go in certain communities, and I want to be someone that takes initiative and goes back and says that these places are viable, the people are worth it, the investment is in the people, not only in the, in the place. I, I think it is his set of values that uh, embraces the idea of equity and fairness and justice. And so putting those kind of values into you know, how do you transform a community if that's your focus. And so I think that's what drives him. When I came to USC, it was more of personal attainment and, and, and helping improve my immediate family. But realizing through life and through my mother's passing that it's much bigger than my immediate family, but being connected to society as a whole and giving back to them. And so to validate my existence is to give back to others and to serve in some capacity. But just to be a form of inspiration for those that maybe have had that voice in themselves that I'm too old or I'm not worthy enough or you know, why me and why not you? Everyone is capable of this. It's just having faith in yourself and just knowing that the world is there for you.